welcome to today's Gadget Show Web TV, where we are taking a look back at the biggest headlines to hit the world of tech over the last seven days. First up, on Wednesday last week, Google revealed what's new in the world of Android, as well as providing an extended look at the latest version, codenamed Honeycomb. Unlike the software for the Galaxy Tab, Honeycomb is the first version of Android designed specifically for tablets. Rumoured for release in the coming fortnight, Honeycomb will debut initially on the Motorola Zoom, a saliva-inducing 10-inch dual-core multimedia powerhouse. Honeycomb features a totally redefined user experience that will feel both fresh and familiar to Android fans. Alongside improvements such as greater support for 3D graphics, Google Video Chat and Flash compatibility as standard. When paired with the soon-to-be-released Zoom, you've got the first genuine iPad rival that's got all of us here at Gadget Towers giddy with excitement. Earlier this week, Facebook announced it's launching its popular Facebook Deals feature in the UK after its debut in the US. Tied into Facebook Places on the mobile app, Facebook Deal aims to bring location-aware discount coupons to you and your friends. Launch partners are to include Starbucks, Yo Sushi and Mazda, and incentives will vary from offers to loyalty perks and charity donations. In exchange for their deals, these corporations want to put an automated post on your wall. Simply look for the yellow sticky symbol next time you're out and about, and check in at participating retailers to claim anything from product discounts to a free cup of coffee. And finally, after much speculation and rumour, the tablet-based digital newspaper The Daily was launched by media giant News Corporation this week. Initially only available on iPads with the US account, The Daily promises to totally redefine the way we experience news content, as Rupert Murdoch attempts to bring you the very best elements of magazines, newspapers and the digital age together in one package. Expect to touch, swipe and tap your way around 360 degree photography and a whole host of other interactive features in the 100 page publication. While no plans have been announced to bring the paper to the UK, you can be sure that if it's a hit, its influence will not only be global but will change the way we read news forever.